Let's review the process for printing from our Android phone or tablet to an HP ePrint enabled printer. We will need the following items to get started. An HP ePrint enabled printer, set up, turned on, and connected to your home network with an internet connection. An Android device, connected to your home network with an internet connection running Android 4.0 or newer. We will begin by going to the Google Play Store locating the HP ePrint app and installing it. After the app has been successfully installed, locate the shortcut and tap it to begin the setup process. We will skip by the opening screen advertisement by tapping on the skip button. HP would like to collect statistics about how you use their product and send it anonymously through the internet to HP. I'm going to uncheck the box and not allow anonymous statistics to be sent to HP. I prefer to review that information before it's sent out. I will tap on the check mark to turn it off and tap on the done button. The first time I activate the HP app it will put an overlay of instructions to help me use the app. I will tap anywhere on the screen to dismiss the overlay. Tapping on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner to set up my ePrint enabled printer for first use. If you have an email address you'll be using with this printer, type it in here. If you don't, tap the add button in the upper right hand corner to advance to the next screen for activation. If you do, type it in the line and then tap on the Add button in the upper right hand corner. When you receive the activation required screen, click on the Activate button and type in your email address. HP will send you an email with an activation code in it. Make sure that you have ready access to the email that you use here. When I receive the message to check my email, I'm going to switch over to my computer and check my email for the code. You should receive a four digit alphanumeric code in your email. I'm going to return to the Android device. I'm going to click on my back button and type the code from the email in the field. You should receive a successful activation message. Click on the done button in the upper right hand corner to continue. You should now see your printer listed at the top of the page with the menu below it. Now I am ready to print from my Android device. I will tap on the HP ePrint icon to get started. The first menu asks me what I'd like to print. I will start with a file stored locally and my, on my Android device. The second screen gives me several choices for locating the documents to be printed. I'm going to go directly to the storage, My Files, to locate the document I wish to print. Once I have located the test documents that I would like to print, one is a Word file and the other is a PDF file. I'm going to print the Word document first. When I tap on it, I have the option to preview which I would recommend so that you can see the formatting before you actually print the document. Depending on the size of the document, it may take between 10 seconds and several minutes to render the Word document. Once I see the preview, and I am confident that this is what I want to print, I will tap on the Print button. You'll see the screen indicated that the document has been printed. Run over to the printer and grab your document. The process for printing a PDF document is almost identical to the Word document, except we don't have to wait for the preview to render.
as soon as I tap on the test PDF it will show me the preview right away again if I'm satisfied with the preview I'll tap on the print button and wait for the notification that the document has printed I'm going to tap on the back button several times on my Android device until I'm back at the main menu I'm going to print a photo so I will tap on the photo button it will give me the same options I have in my gallery on my Android device I'm going to select a picture that I took with the camera I could select multiple pictures by tapping on them once I have completed my selection I'm going to click on the print button and wait for the successful print notification screen my picture is now ready to be picked up at the printer I'm going to use the back button on my Android device to go back to the HP main menu and this time I'm going to choose to print a web page I will select the web option and navigate to the web page I would like to print by typing in the address in the address bar I could also copy and paste the address from another application such as a browser to navigate to the web page once I have successfully navigated to the web page I will click on the print button in the upper right hand corner of the screen and wait for the notification that the document has been printed when I receive an email with an attachment that I'd like to print I can print it right out of the email or Gmail app first I'm going to open the Gmail app and locate the email with the attachment I'd like to print I will open the email and tap on the attachment the Android operating system will give me several options to view the attachments if I would like to print it I need to choose the HPE print option I will again see the preview of the document if I'm satisfied with how it looks I will tap on the print button and wait for the notification screen that the document has printed successfully you may be able to print from almost any app on your Android device if there is a share icon in the application and the HPE print is present in the share options you will be able to print from that application to your HPE print be sure to review the video on getting apps from the Play Store if you're unsure of the process please watch and subscribe to my YouTube channel I hope you have found this video helpful Thanks for watching.